Now, we're living in exponential times. The top 10 jobs in demand today in 2010 in the United States did not exist in 2004. Right? The top 10 jobs didn't exist six years ago. The first SMS was sent in December 1992. Today, the total is more than the total entire world population per day. 84, the total number of internet devices was 1,000. 92, about a million. Today, it's 1.3 billion. It's estimated there are over 410 million users of Facebook today. If Facebook were a country, it'd be the third largest country in the world behind China and India, and over 100 million bigger than the United States of America. Folks, we are preparing job students for jobs that do not exist using technologies that have not yet been invented in order to solve problems that we don't know are problems yet. And we debate language. The Chinese are not doing this. Believe me, we've just been to India. They study. Firstly, they smart, and they study. According to CNBC, there are two billion searches on Google every day. And that excludes Yahoo, Bing, and Baidu, the big Chinese search engine. Two billion searches per day. In 2006, four years ago, it was 2.7 billion for the year. Now, this begs a question. To whom were these questions addressed, BG, or before Google? One week's information in the New York Times is more than a person would have come across in a lifetime in the 18th century. It's estimated that about 4.2 exabytes of unique information will be generated this year, which is more than the previous 5,000 years. The amount of technical information is doubling every two years, which means that a person starting a four-year technical degree will have half of what they've learned in their first year outdated by their third year of study. That's truly exponential times. 